Hello YouTube, welcome to the Gym Shed Guy with me Steve Lewis. Today I'm back in my shed. It's a late night session for me. Um, if I didn't train now I'd end up missing my session and because of work I can't train for a few days. So instead of missing my session I'm just doing a quick um, little go now and it's better than nothing. This video isn't about training, it's actually about the shed itself. I've had a few different people asking me where I train and what equipment I've got. So um, just gonna make a video showing you what I've got and then later on then I can show you different exercises and how I do, um, do each one. Okay, so yeah, I'll just show you around now and um, point out what I've got. Okay then, so there's the front door. You come in and on the back of it is a dartboard. That's the one I used for the crossbow darts. Uh, mess around a little bit in between sets. Um, let's go around the circle. Here's all the rubbish I've got. Needs to be gone. Still here since Christmas. Um, a few of the little bits that are kept in here over the winter whilst we're outside. Uh, they'll be gone soon. Um, makes it a bit harder to do sessions as I've got to work around it but as I'm by myself you will need a little bit of space to work out. In the corner over here I've got dumbbells go from seven and a half kilogram up in two and a half kilograms all the way up to 30 across the bottom uh, more on the rack there um, I've only got up to 30 kilogram um, partly because it was a, a package deal of getting them all in a set but also I don't really need more than 30 um, the only exercise I would use more than 30 would be chest and back and legs but then I do barbell squats or bench press or deadlifts so um, I tie myself out using the heavy bar and then move on to the dumbbells after that. So there's no need to have more than 30 kilograms really. You see everyone else using 50 kilograms for dumbbell flies or 50 kilograms of dumbbell presses. But 50 and 50 is only 100 kilograms. But when I'm bench pressing 200 kilograms, it makes like 50 kilograms look light anyway. So I just use the 30 kilograms when I have to and just use that for my light, um, high rep ranged exercises with um, strict uh, movements so I still work the muscle just as hard anyway uh, moving on from that uh, more tools in the corner again this is a shed and a gym so they were nice and tidy in the corner I've uh, got a smith machine people ask me um, what I've got um, I have measured with the weighing scales the weight of the bar it is just over 20 kilograms and it's not an assisted one where you've got the weight counterbalancing your exercises um, so when I measure 60 or 100 kilograms it is the weight um, pretty much the same as on a free bar apart from you haven't got the um, the balancing with the free as a fried free bar okay um, yeah it is a, a free bar as well on a squat rack on the one side so if I want to use the free bar all I do is hook the uh, smith machine up at the top keep it out of the way and then I can use the free bar uh, for my exercises. Um, clips, I always make sure I use my clips as I'm training by myself um, I've got to make sure I'm safety aware um, and it's my equipment as well so um, I hate it when people are smashing weights around dropping the dumbbells, dropping their weights it's an expensive piece of kit, um, the concrete floor I spent hundreds of pounds using this um, rubber mat in on the floor so the last thing I want to do is chuck my weights around and hurt myself or damage the kit. Um, next thing I've got is in that black bag is a Reebok step box. Um, unlike the normal Reebok steps you see in ledge tenders and gyms, um, the legs, they um, they actually stay on the step. It's got a storage compartment inside. You can incline it, you can decline it, and you can attach um, elastic bands to it to do exercises. Um, I might show you actually one day. Uh, I've never used it on different videos. Uh, rushing on to a corner, I got some dumbbells, another tree going from 0.5 to 5 kilogram. Um, I, obviously, I don't use these very often. More I use them for um, stretches and warm ups to forward exercise. Down the bottom, I got a couple of kettlebells. A bit light for my exercises for what I'd use, but um, a good in a circuit session. Got some press up handles, they're good for doing press ups if you've got sore wrists. 
or you just don't, don't want to do um, press ups on a dirty floor um, a mat for so doing floor exercises coming back from the smith machine I've got um, a TRX suspension trainer up at the top I slide it into the middle and then I can use a space on the floor to do my exercises the bench it does decline incline and then it goes to flat on the floor I've got rep set weights and then on the wall I got my rep set bar and EZ bar um, a couple of elastic bands um, I use these to put on the bar to make the bar a little bit heavier uh, certain different areas and exercises I don't use them very often they're a bit too thick for what I wanted so I had to chop one in half make it a bit thinner um, in this corner I've got a tricep station with the dips it was also um, a chin up station as well but it won't fit in the shed so as I got this Smith machine I can use my uh, bar to do the chin ups so I just chop the top of this off don't need that anymore uh, medicine ball at the bottom and that's about it so only small only basic it looks a bit cramped and dirty at the moment because of um, car boxes and chairs but this is where I train this is all I need um, and you can train every time you like so the disadvantage of having less equipment is balanced by being able to train when you like for as long as you like there's no cues for equipment um, I can do what I want and um, yeah that's where I train so um, next couple of videos I'll start showing you different exercises I said I'm going to make uh, fitness exercises so press ups, sit ups, um, chin ups I've been asked um, to show muscle ups um, I can't do muscle ups in here the roof's too low um, yeah but I'll, I'll show you press ups I'll show you star jumps um, all sorts of body weight exercises I'll get the Reebok step box out so I can show you step ups um, yep yeah, but this is what it is this is um, what I use and um, stay tuned see you again